Okay, ready for this? I feel like I should title this video like trans guy reacts to like it's like a reacts video But it's not at all. That is not not what we're doing in this video. It's not a reaction video It's just talking about reactions more specifically about reactions to reactions. Welcome to being unrelatable Oh, that made me dizzy Hi, I'm Jackson Bird, and today we are going to be talking about how to react to other people's reactions to you starting hormones. Alright, so for better or worse, when you're growing up, family members, friends, and everyone seems allowed to comment on your growing and changing body. Your voice is so deep now I thought you were your dad on the phone. Somebody hit another growth spurt. Aren't you blossoming into a beautiful young woman? Oh, that's so gross. Oh, I hope no one says that to you. Adults in your life might even suggest acne solutions, bra styles, tampon brands, how to handle your voice cracking in the middle of a class presentation. Nothing really seems off limits, even though like, Maybe some of that really should be. But it seems natural because it's just something that everyone goes through. But when you go through puberty a second time, especially as an adult, no one is really sure what the social customs are for commenting on your physical changes, which also leaves those of us going through the changes uncertain of what to expect from other people's reactions and like how to behave in response to those unexpected reactions. I mean, like going about your day-to-day -day life while hormones adapt your body to align more with how you feel inside, as awesome as it is, can be pretty awkward. People are eventually gonna notice certain things and you kinda have to just like brace yourself for comments that they may or may not make. So talking about how to handle those reactions is a murky, meta, kind of highly individualized topic to try to tackle, but it's an interesting one to think about and not one that I don't think really gets talked about that much. So when one of my patrons suggested it to me on one of our Patreon live streams, I thought I should give it a shot because it sounded pretty interesting. So I'm mostly gonna talk about trans people ourselves reacting to other people's reactions to us starting hormones, but I will also share some tips on how to be that person reacting when someone in your life starts hormones, whether you yourself have taken hormones before or not. But before we get to all of that, I wanna take a minute to talk about today's sponsor. If you're starting hormones, it is puberty 2.0 and things are gonna get smelly. You can avoid at least one awkward reaction from people in your life by taking care of your hygiene with Dollar Shave Club. What a transition. Whether you are trans or cis, we all have our everyday grooming routines from showering to brushing our teeth to shaving which is, you know, something you have to think about a little bit more when you're trans and considering other people's reactions to what you decide to do with your body even though it shouldn't be any of their business. But no matter what you decide to do with shaving or not shaving different parts of your body and regardless of what your other parts of your routine are, Dollar Shave Club has got everything you need to help you look, feel, and smell your best. Now I'm sure a lot of you have heard about Dollar Shave Club from me or from other people and you think that they're just about shaving products, but haha, <laughs> do not let the name deceive you. Dollar Shave Club can solve all of your grooming needs in just one box. Shower products, oral care products, hair care products, and of course shaving products. But basically, if you've got a body, they've got you covered. Not only do they ship them right to your house, which is so convenient if you are like awkward about having to go buy certain hygiene products when you're like in different per periods of your transition or just socially awkward, going to the store is not fun all the time. So Dollar Shave Club ships them right to your house, but that is not all. The more you buy with them, the more that you save, which they call their handsome discount. So right now you can get their shave, shower, or oral starter sets for just five bucks each. I've got a bunch of samples that they so nicely sent me. So the shave starter set comes with the executive razor, which is like the nice weighty boy, as well as a three ounce tube of their shave butter. The oral care starter set comes comes with their toothbrush, which is also a weighty boy, very ergonomic, and a trial size version of their toothpaste. It's called Super Ba. I actually don't know how to pronounce it, but that's how I say it in my head. The shower starter set comes with three trial size versions of their amber lavender body cleanser, the citrus and Hawaiian ginger face cleanser, and the sage and black pepper shampoo. And they have a brand new product. It is one of their most requested products. It is their new groundskeeper line of antiperspirants and deodorants and those trusty butt wipes just to keep all of your parts smelling nice and fresh. Specifically, smelling like sea spray amber. You can just smell the waves. If you hold this up to your ear, you can probably just hear the ocean and bergamot white musk. But anyways, if you want to join the club, you can get one of those starter sets I mentioned for just $5 today, and you can add one of the new Groundskeeper products for only $5. After that, the restock box will ship regular size products, so bigger than these guys, 
at the regular price. And you can get this exclusive deal at dollarshaveclub.com slash jacksonbird. Again, that is dollarshaveclub.com slash jacksonbird. Link in the description box. So go check it out today. All right, back to starting hormones. First off, I just wanna say that I hope this can be useful for people of all genders, but I'm definitely gonna be speaking primarily from my own trans guy perspective. So if you are trans feminine or a gender or non-binary or whoever with something more to add, or you know of someone who made a great video or wrote something on this topic, please, put it in the comments below. I would love to hear more perspectives on this topic. But all right, so the first thing to consider when thinking about how people might react to you starting hormones is that it depends on when in your social transition you're starting hormones. Like, have you come out yet? I mean, it's fairly likely that there will at least be some spaces in which you haven't come out yet. Like maybe around certain relatives or at work. This type of awkward period is often when I hear about trans guys having to say that they <coughs> have allergies, you know, to explain their deeper voice or trans women looking into binding or other solutions to hide their breast development. It can be a tricky situation and something worth thinking about when you work on your plan and timeline of medical transition. If you are financially and emotionally in a position to have come out to everyone before you start hormones, that might make things easier for you, but that's not the right or feasible path for everyone. Like I personally started hormones a month before I came out publicly because I wanted to make sure that it was the right choice for me personally before I brought other people into it. Another thing that will be a relative unknown is how quickly and in what order changes from hormones will occur. Like some people might be able to explain away the subtleties of their hormone changes for months. Some might only have a few weeks before people start noticing their relatively extreme changes or quick changes. It's the kind of thing that you just won't know until you start. So it's another thing to think about and weigh the risks of ahead of time if you plan on being closeted to some extent in some spaces while start starting hormones, or if you're hoping to go stealth shortly after, I suppose that could also be a situation. But that said, like in general, people will not notice the changes as much as you think they will, especially if they don't know that you're on hormones. Like all of you, this is my voice, six hours on T, talking about those four tiny mustache hairs that can only be seen in the bright light about an inch from the mirror. I'm excited for all of you. I am, and I totally did that too. But trust me, no one is gonna notice those things as acutely as you will. Even if you're someone who has certain changes happen really quickly, it's still a steady change. Like think about your friends or siblings in high school and like how they never seem to change before your eyes but if you look back at pictures and videos of them like two years ago they looked or sounded totally different because you don't usually notice those steady puberty like changes in other people over the day to day and also like never underestimate how much people are in their own heads about themselves and not paying attention to other people like I know there are exceptions where people might be hyper focused on your transition but like dang we humans are pretty self-centered on the whole. Just remember that if you're super nervous about people noticing every little change in you, they probably won't. I mean, that said, you will probably get people noticing changes who don't see you all the time. Like these are the people who are not seeing you day to day. You know, folks that maybe you're visiting for the first time after starting hormones, like at least after a certain point, they will definitely notice some changes. My experience was that these comments about changes that I was having from testosterone, they would usually occur in conversation in the same way that you would discuss any physical or life changes with someone that you haven't seen in a while. Like if they dyed their hair or got new glasses since you last saw them. And sometimes I would like try to respond to it in that way. Like if someone was like, wow, your voice is so deep now. I'd be like, yeah, and I love your new haircut. Like just something to sort of signal to them that like, yes, I am changing in the same way all humans grow and change, and we don't need to put any more of an emphasis on this than other changes in both of our lives. Or hey, maybe depending on your relationship with that person, you do want to make a big deal out of it and share all of your excitement with them. Which brings me to another big factor influencing what reactions you might get and how to respond to them, which is the type of person that you are and the type of relationship that you have with different people in your life. Like, are you a overly sharing kind of person who discussed bodily functions and sex and all that sort of stuff openly even before transition? If so, then you'll 
probably find it pretty easy to talk about all the weird and exciting changes happening to your body. But if you, like me, are typically more private, you might find it awkward to discuss or even acknowledge these changes with friends. You might just hope no one brings it up. Or, you know, maybe there are some changes you're super excited about and hope someone does bring it up because you're too nervous to say anything yourself. Looking back, I would say, in my experience, like overall, most people never commented unprompted. And maybe that's just the energy I put out there and like people followed suit. Maybe I just don't hang around people who comment on each other's bodies. Whatever the reason, like I found that a lot of folks in my life politely acted as if nothing was happening. The ones who brought it up were usually fellow trans people in the context of discussing our transitions together and moms, like mom type of people, pointing out my facial hair, especially. I'm not sure why that is, but it happened a lot. Moms, man, they're super weirded out by beards growing. And like, I gotta say, if you're taking testosterone, once it's finally obvious to other people, which by the way, is gonna be months to years after you think that it's visible, is probably the thing that people are gonna bring up the most, or your voice. Now, one thing that I don't think really happened to me, but I'm sure happens, and maybe I just blocked it out, is negative comments comments or reactions to your changes from hormones. Now my wish is that all of you are surrounded by decent, wonderful humans who would never make rude comments about something that is clearly making you happy. But if it happens, I would say if you feel up for it, put that person in their place. Like remind them that this is your body and that the hormones are making you feel more like yourself than you've ever felt before or whatever is true for you. And let them know how rude it is to say that kind of thing to a fellow human. If it's possible, even if they are family, I would consider distancing yourself from them until they can get their act together. You know, maybe send them some resources after the fact or like see if you have any mutual friends or family members who can talk to this person on your behalf and set them straight. That way the onus isn't on you to do all the educating. And no matter how you are able to handle it, make sure you find someone to talk to about it. A friend, a fellow trans person, a therapist, even just an online chat or hotline. Talk it out in a safe space where you can be reminded that you matter and that person sucks, but also like maybe they can grow and you can get over this. But like right now they suck and you need a space where you are allowed to say that. And speaking of people potentially making bad comments, let's talk quickly about how you should react if someone in your life has started hormones. I would honestly say err on the side of not commenting on someone's changes beyond just like, you're looking great. And even that is only if you know for certain that they did start hormones and that they were super excited to do so. And again, like your relationship with that person can vary if you're really close and have had prior discussions about certain changes they were hoping for or parts of their body they're dysphoric about and you're able to comment in an encouraging, positive way, like go ahead, go for it. But if you're not that close to them, just keep it vague and optimistic. Like it's an exciting time for them, so it is, and it's nice to be complimented, but at the same time, no one wants to feel objectified or picked on, or God forbid, like you're making some sort of sexual comment about their changing body. In my experience as one single non-representative trans person, I always felt really cool when people mentioned like the muscle that I was gaining or that my sideburns were looking good or that I just like looked happier and more myself. But I did not feel so cool when people brought up that I looked chubbier or made fun of my cracking voice or acne or that my facial hair looked terrible and patchy, which it still does, I know. But honestly, like even the positive comments could feel awkward. I mean, they came from people that I knew had some level of discomfort with my transition or with trans people in general, or like people who had little to no knowledge of hormone replacement therapy. You just sort of start feeling like you're on display as someone's first and only exposure to trans people on hormones. So switching back to advice to trans people who are starting hormones, if you get that sense with some people and if it makes you feel uncomfortable, consider sharing some resources with them. And I know that can be like a weird and awkward thing to try to do in some relationships, but I don't know, like maybe just text them and say like, hey, I really appreciate your support as I start my medical transition. If you wanna know more about how this process works, here are some videos from other trans people about their transitions. You know, that way like that person won't think that every change they see happening in you is so unique and unexpected and they have to comment on it. Like they'll understand that it's just an ordinary part of the process and maybe hopefully not make a, as big a deal out of your personal changes. As with many things, there is not one great solution for how to handle people's reactions to you starting hormones, but I will say that a a lot can be helped by just setting aside the time to sit down 
and think through possible solutions and brainstorm how you might respond to them. Think about the visible changes from hormones that different people are likely to comment on in different ways, what changes or types of comments would bother you, what would make you feel okay or good. Brainstorm ways that you can respond to negative or positive comments given different relationships you have with different people. I mean, you know, maybe you even want to just make a blanket rule for people in your life that they can't comment on any of your changes. That is a totally fair request to make. And honestly, one that might be a relief for some people who weren't sure what was okay or not to say. Overall, I do have to say that receiving and responding to comments about my changing appearance from hormones was a million times better than the comments that I got about my appearance before I came out, when people were trying to figure out what was up with me. Tackling the issue of whether or not to shave my legs, what to wear for formal events, how to hide my binder when I wasn't out yet, all of that was far more anxiety inducing for me than having people comment on testosterone based changes where everyone was on the same page about why I was presenting the way that I was. So if you're feeling super nervous about all of this based on your present pre-hormones or pre-coming out experiences, it's very possible that it'll be a lot easier on the other side. Oh, and one last thing. Your pets might have reactions too. I have heard that some cats and dogs can get confused and take a few days to adjust when your smell changes after starting hormones, which is a thing that happens. So just another fun reaction to be prepared for there. Like I said, please leave your tips and experiences down below, especially if you are of any other gender than trans guy. I would love to see all of your insight as always. And if you missed it last week, I now have t-shirts. They are Will It Waffle retro style t-shirts and they are available in my DFTBA merch store. There's also a few other LGBTQ themed goodies in that store, so go check it out. Link below and on the screen soon, probably. <laughs> Make sure that you're subscribed to this channel for new videos every other Wednesday afternoon. And if you want to keep up with me in between videos, you can also follow me at Jack is not a bird on Twitter and Instagram. And once again, thank you so much to our sponsor for today's video, Dollar Shave Club. Take advantage of that $5 starter set offer by joining the club at dollarshaveclub.com slash jacksonbird. Thank you to Dollar Shave Club. Thank you to my patron, Nick, who suggested this video. And thank you to all of you for watching. I'll see you next time. My iPhone just started playing Queen out of nowhere. That will be quite enough of that.